Terry Garr is one of America's most versatile actresses and easily one of the most extraordinary talents of her generation. Her career spans four decades, and she's worked in film and television, racking up over 140 credits throughout her career. She's been particularly adept at comedy films. Let's look back at Terry Garr's incredible life and career and the sad reasons we don't see her anymore. Terry Garr's Early Life and Career Terry Garr was born in Lakewood, Ohio on December 11, 1944. Showbiz was in her genes as her father Edward Garr was a famous vaudeville entertainer. He also performed as a comedian and actor, acting in several plays, including on Broadway. Her mother Phyllis was also an entertainer. Phyllis Garr was a professional dancer and was a member of the troupe The Rockettes. She was also a model and a wardrobe mistress. Terry Garr spent some of her early childhood in Cleveland, Ohio and New Jersey and eventually settled in California where she grew up. Sadly, at age 11, her father passed away and her mother was left to raise her children on her own. This meant Terry had to grow up rather quickly and take responsibility. She began taking acting, dancing, and singing classes at a young age. She realized she had a natural talent for performance that she inherited from her parents. She was determined to make a successful career as an entertainer. While she briefly attended Cal State University, she realized it wasn't helping to further her acting ambition. To study at the prestigious Actor Studio and at the Lee Strasberg Film and Television Institute. She began her acting career in the 1960s, though many of her early credits didn't give her much exposure. Her debut was in the 1963 film A Swinging Affair, where she appeared as an extra. She continued to appear in background roles and appeared as a dancer in many musical productions. These included The Pajama Game, Chivalry, Shindig, and Movin' with Nancy. While these performances were helping her sustain her career, they hadn't gotten her her big break. Before we tell you more about Terry's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Terry's Career Terry began appearing in popular TV shows in the late 60s, which helped kickstart her acting career. She had small roles in shows like The Andy Griffith Show, Mayberry RFD, Room 222, and It Takes a Thief. But her big break came when she became part of the ensemble of The Sonny and Cher Show. She played various characters on the show, including the now-famous Countess Legustav. While she only appeared in 12 episodes of the show, this was enough to bring her to widespread attention. Soon, she was seen as more than just a background dancer or supporting actress. She had incredible acting talent and was destined for larger roles, particularly comedic ones. Throughout the early 70s, she continued to make appearances in popular TV shows like The Bob Newhart Show, The Girl with Something Extra, and Barnaby Jones. In 1974, she was cast as Amy, a supporting role in Francis Ford Coppola's now classic film The Conversation. This appearance was enough to bring Terry into even wider attention. It showed her talents couldn't be confined to the small screen, and she deserved to be on the big screen as well. That same year, she appeared as Inga in Mel Brooks's hit comedy film Young Frankenstein. Brooks had already established himself as one of America's finest comedy filmmakers. This film not only brought Terry to wider attention, but showed she was one of America's best comedic talents. From then onward, she continued to have a steady career in film and television. Some of her most notable film roles include works in films such as Oh God, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, One from the Heart, and The Escape Artist. But one of her best-known roles was as Sandy in the 1982 comedy Tootsie, starring Dustin Hoffman and Jessica Lange. This role made Terry Garr one of Hollywood's biggest stars and solidified her role as a versatile actress with a knack for comedy. Throughout the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and early 2010s, she continued to appear in a slew of successful films and TV shows. She seemed unstoppable. A mention should be made of some of her career's best achievements. With Tootsie, she was nominated for an Oscar for her performance. In the 1980s, she also starred in another dark comedy film that is now looked at as a classic. That was Martin Scorsese's film After Hours, which starred Griffin Dunn. She played a waitress named Julie, and this character, though a smaller role, became one of the highlights of the film. It was clear Terry Garr knew how to steal the show, even if she wasn't the main attraction. While she focused mainly on film since the 1980s, she also continued to appear in popular TV productions. She appeared as Talon Kensington in the TV miniseries Fresno in 1986. She won acclaim for her role in this show that had a huge ensemble of formidable talents. For her talents, she was often branded a comedic genius. She had her fair share of drama roles in films like Michael, starring John Travolta. She played a judge in this film and won praise for her work. 
She became so popular, she was often cast in cameo roles in popular TV shows such as The Weird Al Show and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She also played Phoebe's mother in Friends, which worked as she had a striking resemblance to Lisa Kudrow and could match the latter's comic talents. She had a brief but successful career as a voice actress. She voiced the character of Madame Cassandra for the Black Dahlia video game in 1998. She also voiced Mary McGinnis in Batman Beyond, a TV series that ran from 1999 to 2000. The Sad Reasons You Don't See Terry Gar Anymore Terry Gar was in a relationship with film producer Roger Birnbaum for four years in the 1980s. After separating from him, she was in a seven-year relationship with a physician named David Kipper. She separated from him and later married John O'Neill, a building contractor, in 1993. They were married for three years and had one adopted daughter, Molly. On the big screen and small screen, Terry's life seemed perfect, but she began having health problems around the time she was working on Tootsie in the early 80s. She had difficulty with her movements as the years passed. This took its toll on her. In 2002, she became public with the fact that she'd been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She discussed her illness in further detail in her 2006 memoir, Speed Bumps, Flooring It Through Hollywood. That same year, she sadly suffered a brain aneurysm. She was in a coma for a week and had to go through therapy to relearn her speaking and motor skills. These setbacks didn't stop her from working, and she continued to act for the remainder of the 2000s and early 2010s. Her final role was in the TV pilot How to Marry a Billionaire in 2011. One of the reasons Terry was initially reticent to discuss her health problems was she worried it would prevent her from landing more roles. As a result, she continued to persist even with these new challenges. But her health problems continued to take their toll. She decided to call it quits and retired from the industry since then. She seldom gives interviews or appears at public events today. But despite these rather sad setbacks, one must look at Terry Gar's life with awe. She had a tough life growing up, but was determined to become a successful entertainer. And she'll always be remembered as one of America's most versatile actresses. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Terry Gar role of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.